It's time for today's Bulldog Conversation, presented by the Sanford Sports Network. I'm sitting with Dr. Pat Terry, director of the dietetics program here at Sanford. It's great to be sitting with you actually in the kitchen, uh, which is a new kitchen, and we'll talk about that later, but it's great to be sitting here talking with you for a few minutes. First of all, what, what got you interested in nutrition from, from the very beginning? Well, my mother was a biology teacher in high okay. school, so I had heard about science and uh, liked what she told me about, and so I was a pre-dental uh, student when I first okay. entered college. Uh, it didn't take me long to realize that that probably wasn't what I wanted to do the rest of my <laughs> life. So I was sitting in the chemistry library one day studying for a chemistry exam and saw a brochure about nutrition and dietetics. Okay. I had really not known anything about it, but it included my love of science. It included serving people because I was already interested in missions at the time and okay. thought that this might be an excellent thing to take with me to the mission field. Mm -hmm. So I changed my major to, to nutrition. nutrition and dietetics. And now mm -hmm. you're here at Sanford. How long have you been uh, teaching nutrition with Sanford and what led you to Sanford in, in making nutrition an academic program? Um, well, I was a missionary in Venezuela for 12 years okay. where I was a nutritionist. And so I did use uh, my nutrition degree mm -hmm. there to work with communities, um, especially mothers, um, young children, and the issues that they have nutritionally. So when I came back from Venezuela, I knew I wanted to teach. Okay. And uh, I had gotten my degree, my uh, terminal degree, while I was on the field in Venezuela. So I had the credentials to teach at a university level, it's just that there were hardly any positions because uh, there are very few PhD RDs, which means, you know, a doctorate in nutrition okay. plus a registered dietitian. So it really was a miracle. God provided this uh, position at Sanford a year after I came back from Venezuela. So I've been here for, this is my 20th year okay. to work with students and the exciting thing is not only to teach students nutrition and dietetics, but show them how they can use it in their personal lives. And even if they don't work in a hospital or a clinical setting, they can always use their nutrition knowledge. And now, in talking about using that knowledge, you use it in missions. I know I've talked with a student who wants to use, he's a nutrition student as well here at Sanford Planning Graduate, and wants to use it in missions. I feel like there's a lot that you can do with a nutrition a degree that people don't necessarily realize. What are some things that graduates can do when they leave this program here at Sanford? Well, most of our students do become registered dietitians, okay. and so they have the most options because in most states you have to be registered and licensed to practice okay. clinically. Um, a lot of our students are clinical dietitians in hospitals and clinics, but we have more and more students working in prevention and wellness okay. because that is really the way healthcare is going. So we have um, dietitians that are in charge of wellness programs in corporate um, areas as well as um, universities. Most universities now have a wellness program for their students. We have um, dietitians that work in community nutrition through public health, serving the community. Uh, we also have dietitians that work in business and research. Uh, companies like Pillsbury and other huge companies usually hire dietitians okay. for research as well as public relations. We have lots of dietitians that now work in research because uh, we know now that nutrition is so related to many of the chronic diseases and aging diseases that, um, that we have. So research is a huge area uh, and I've had several students that have gone on to um, get PhDs and do um, research in nutrition. The list just seems to go on and on. Quickly before we run out of time, we're sitting in this new kitchen here. It's the first semester students have gotten to use it. Just talk about what this means for students. We are so excited. We've renovated our 30-year-old foods lab. <laughs> Um, students are in food preparation this time, and most of the students in this class were not in the old foods lab. So mm -hmm. when we teach in the spring, all of those students are going to come in and not even recognize where <laughs> they are. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We have really more room in this lab. So 
Our 70 majors will be in this room in about six classes that they take, and it's going to serve our students well into the future. This is, this is an awesome new, new addition to the uh, university as a whole, really. Now, quickly in wrapping, how can someone learn a little bit more about this program? Well, they're welcome to email me at phterry at sanford.edu. Okay. They can look us up online through the Exercise Science and Sports Medicine um, Department on the Sanford website. Great, thank you. And we are out of time, but again, I'm sitting with Dr. Pat Terry, Director of the Dietetics Program here at Sanford. Thank you. Thank you. You've been listening to Bulldog Conversation with Nathan Troost. The Adventure Bus Charters Halftime Show continues in a moment. This is the Sanford Sports Network.